without uh, any communication with the parents. But uh, look, it gets better, Patrick, because Scotland, again, is going to lead the way on this and they're going to allow pupils uh, aged four or above uh, to change their gender and change their names in this way. Uh, they're going to encourage um, their, this, this type of behaviour. Um, and so, uh, well, what can we say about that? Uh, the Daily Mail here saying children as young as four will be able to change their gender at school without their parents' consent. Under guidance introduced in Scotland, any pupil who decides they want to switch gender must be supported and listened to in school following Scottish Government advice. It applies to primary schools where the youngest children are only four or five uh, because recognition and development of gender identity can occur at a young age. Um, and But what's... Uh, perhaps disturbing about this. How does it occur at a young age? Uh, does, is, it, is it occurring, Mike, because there are uh, counselors and uh, facilitators and uh, education uh, professionals who are teaching the children uh, well, to, to, about, about gender identification? And... Primary and secondary schools have also been told to put books featuring transgender people on the curriculum, allowing pupils to choose which changing room or toilets to use and consider introducing a gender neutral uniform. Now, if you know children are being sec sexualized at a, a, an ever younger age, and if you're given the opportunity as a young uh, you know, adolescent male uh, to get into the girls' changing room, are you gonna take that opportunity or not? Some might, and, and the reverse, if for male or female, they get a lot of extra attention and resources in terms of support uh, when they do go through this process and they also get attention from other students as well. This has been remarked on by a number of uh, behavioral professionals about this very phenomenon is that you know when children at a certain age they're really de are craving for attention especially if they're not getting it at home mm -hmm. okay and uh, then to make themselves uh, novel or unique then all of a sudden the whole system comes and cotton wools them basically mm -hmm. so th this is arguably according to some professionals one of the things that's driving this quote trend mm -hmm. and what you find is also the children then grow out of it <laughs> very quickly or not so long after that. So the danger is if they introduce hormonal, re hormonal replacements or pu puberty blockers and things like this, then the damage isn't something that you can just easily back out of right. because it becomes a physical situation that could last into adulthood. And this has led to a number of problems and we've covered this in, in, in previous programs as well. Yeah. So it's, it's still a problem. Um, so